Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If this video is helpful to you or you have any questions, please hit me up. I will try to get the videos uploaded as soon as possible. Don't forget to sign up. Thank you. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jose here once again. Uh, I'm getting my baby fixed. We got a flat tire on it. Uh, so, I noticed a lot of you guys change out ECMs. Your mechanic tells you, hey, your ECM's not working. Your truck doesn't want to start. It has no high, pr uh, high pressure uh, on the fuel, no high pressure on the oil. So let's go ahead and change out the ECM. Really, when do you change out the ECM? Well, for all you that are mechanics and those of you that rely on your mechanic to to keep you on the road, well, your car scanner should usually send you a code of the ECM and those codes begin from 523 all the way to the 600s. As a matter of fact, there's a code that'll tell you, hey, your relay is high voltage or your relay is low voltage. But anytime you go between 523 and down to the 600s, that's when you know you have an issue with the IDM, which is, I'm sorry, not with the IDM, yeah, with, the, with your computer of your truck on your engine, okay? So, Basically, what you got to do, this is where a lot of mechanics are not going to tell you. You take off your ECM, make sure you take pictures, videos, whatever you want to do, how it came off so you can put it back the same way. But you can take off your ECM and take it to International and they'll charge you here in Dallas, they'll charge us about, I believe it's uh, $75 to $85 here in Dallas, Texas. And they'll actually hook up your, your, your uh, computer to their computer if though both of the computers communicate then boom your computer is good but if your computer does not communicate that's when you change your ECM you don't order an ECM just to order ECM you don't change it just to change it you don't change it from another truck to your truck because they have different parameters uh, that might that one might be said to run a lot faster to run a lot slower to have higher RPMs to have lower RPMs you don't want to mess you don't want to put that in in your truck when you really don't have to so that's exactly when you're supposed to change your ECM when you have codes for it and your computer's not hooking up to it or it's actually going to give you codes that you, there's something wrong with your ECM but once again you might have a ground wire that is loose you might have something that's disconnected so always take off your scanner your computer of your truck take it to the dealer let them connect it to their computer and hopefully your computer is good and if you know that that's good then you're looking in the wrong tree you're looking at the wrong place any more questions hit me up guys hope you guys are having a great day goodbye